All right, so this is a deck tech of blue red thopters, and um, deck has done pretty good against lots of different decks. It's pretty fast and uh, generates lots of tokens, so it's pretty good. Um, so we'll start off with, well, with the theme. First of all, is obviously thopters, and uh, lots of stuff that boosts um, artifacts like four ghost fire blades. Um, that's pretty obvious, uh, but those are super, super good with, with Thopters. Um, yeah, there's a couple combos in here, pretty cool. Okay, so we got four of the Chief of the Foundries. Um, these will boost all your Thopters, um, so we're going to run four of them. And, um, yeah, they're just good. Uh, World of Rogues, four of those. Uh, these are going to generate two Thopters, and you can tap two um, Thopters to make something unblockable, which is really important um, with with the uh, Ghost Fire Blades because you're going to have probably going to have one big creature, and uh, you want to get get through with them. So making out something unblockable immediately is pretty pretty darn good. Uh, four Thopter Engineers. Uh, these make your uh, Thopters have haste and um, generates a Thopter on its own, so it's really good. Um, one Reclusive Artificer. And uh, this is going to get rid of some of the pesky creatures uh, that are roadblocks, basically. Um, Andy's Haste, so he gets in all the damage to one of, just because um, you don't really want to draw too many non-artifact things, so um, one of them's fine. You know, you don't want multiples. Uh, two Pia and Ch and uh, Kieran Nalar. These are just basically World of Rogues, um, but red. And uh, th that the um, sacrificing ability is actually really good too. Uh, we only have two because they're legendary, obviously. So um, don't want to have multiples. Uh, but the sacrificing ability can be very good, especially when they're close to dying and they just have a bunch of blockers out. And, you can just finish them off. Um, you've got three of the bonded constructs, which are surprisingly good. Um, you wouldn't think so, but uh, two power, one, one cost creatures, for and an artifact is pretty pretty solid actually. And uh, it's gonna team up team up with your thopters to get some good damage in. Um, Ram roller, uh, we got three of those. They get they get pretty gigantic, uh, especially if you equip a Ghost Fire Blade to it. It's going to be a 6-5, um, a um, probably by turn 4 or something. Um, and yeah, it's going to do a lot of damage, so you've got those. That's a great thing to make unblockable with the World of Rogue. Uh, you got one Hangerback Walker. You can increase this if you want, but it's really not an aggressive card. And despite how much this is played, it's better in a defensive deck um, because you want to be able to kill it and uh, you know get your thopters. But uh, it, it's okay um, in this deck. A two mana one one um, artifact guy that gets bigger is, is sometimes good in some decks versus some decks. But mostly you want to be aggressive. So all right, and then some interesting cards here. Uh, we got two mirror mockeries. And uh, if you see the rest of these creatures, you can definitely tell why this is in here. Um, if you mirror mockery a world of rogue, you're going to get two thopters immediately, and then uh, be able to use those two thopters immediately to make it unblockable or whatever unblockable. <clears throat> if you do it on a pia, uh, despite the legendary rule, the he still gives you the thopters and then sacrifices. Um, you do it on an artificial. Artificer, you can just continually mow down their guys um, every turn when you attack them. Um, Chief of the Foundry, you can attack, and then when, when he copies himself, uh, gives a temporary boost for combat to everything else. Uh, pretty much just all the Thopter Generators, they all work with the uh, Mirror Mockery. <clears throat> Plus, you can also just Mirror Mockery their big attacker, too. You can just, you know, play it on their Siege Rhino, and then... Uh, they won't attack ever. <laughs> so, it's pretty good. Um, okay, and then 
got the uh, Thopter Spy Networks. Got two of those. And these are just very good against um, control and uh, s some very defensive decks, slower decks. Um, it's going to give you card advantage and it's also going to um, just provide you an endless supply of Thopters, which, especially if you have Ghost Fire Blades out, it's going to be very, very hard for them to deal with. I mean, you're going to get a 3 3 every single turn. Um, that you, because the Ghost Fire Blade counts as an artifact, and you have uh, the Spy Network out, you just get Thopters every turn, you equip, 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 and uh, it's, it's pretty brutal. <clears throat> and then for the um, non. just the uh, removal. We've got uh, two roasts main board, and those are pretty good. They, they hit almost everything. There's a few things that it doesn't hit, but um, it kills most things. Uh, four ghost fire blades, like I said before. I mean, this this card is insane. Two power for one one to equip. It's just it's so hard to deal with. Uh, we got one uh, anticipate, and um, this is just a. Uh, great card fixer, especially because there's not too many two drops in this deck. So um, it's it's great to do be able to fix your draws on turn two. Um, that might actually go up to two anticipates, um, but yeah, for right now it's fine. Uh, fiery conclusions, two of them. This kills almost everything. Uh, there's not too many things this doesn't kill. And um, you know, there's lots of chumps that you can sack. Uh, you know, all the, like, Thopters, obviously, there's tons of Thopters. Hangerback Walker you can do, um, Instant Speed, you can even, uh, use the Mirror Mockery token to sacrifice and then hit them with, uh, hit, hit the creature with. Um, so that's pretty good. And then Singing Bell Strike, uh, one of, and it's removal. Um, and again, it hits everything, so it's great. And it's, you know, it's good in fast decks because they're not going to get to 6 mana very very quickly. Um, so hopefully you can kill them before before they ever get to untap it. Um, and then uh, the only special land in here is uh, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, 1. Um, you could probably put more of these in here. Uh, and these are good against decks that are uh, trying to race you and stuff. Um, you have some Thopters out, you're just going to continually gain life with it, which is great. Um, and then we got, you know, the normal blue-red lands, um, I don't remember how many of each, but I'll post in the comments. And then the sideboard, so... Alright, so the sideboard, we have, uh, three claustrophobias, and those are for, uh, you know, bigger things that we, we can't hit with roast, or, like, uh, just, uh, you know, bigger creatures things like that. It's a less, or it's a more expensive version of Sing and Bell Strike, but uh, it deals with them permanently, which is great. Um, then you've got uh, two Rending Volleys, which all, this can also go up. Um, currently there's only what, 12 cards on the sideboard, so uh, two more of these can go in for sure. These are great. Um, kill the Ojitais, which is kind of, I mean, yeah. <laughs> kind of important. Um, so that's great. We got a Aether Grid, um, one of, and uh, this is great against other token decks, so um, basically you can just uh, put out your Thopters, immediately tap them, kill their token, and then keep doing that every turn, um, and just kind of almost control the board with your Thopters, which is kind of, kind of funny. Um, doesn't come up too often because there's not many token decks where we're playing, but it's good. Uh, Barrage of Boulders, for the same reason, kills all the tokens. So, it's pretty easy to explain. Um, it also it also gets your guys through for the Ferocious Ability. Um, if you have, uh, let's say, an equipped um, Bonded Construct, you can get through with that, so that's good. Um, in Case in Ice, there's probably uh, probably you need one more of these two. Um, it's going to be against red and green, obviously, so, you know, just color hate. Uh, two trumpet blasts. <clears throat> this is, again, for other um, decks.
decks you want to race, like aggro decks and stuff, um, or it's especially good against um, things like uh, the Aristocrats deck, where you kind of just want to kill them really fast and uh, not to let them kill you before they, you kill them, so Trumpet Blast. And then uh, two more Singing Bell Strikes, uh, again for aggro, so yeah. Uh, so this deck has done pretty good um, in testing and in playing. I mean, we've taken it to three, four, five Friday Night Magics, I don't even know. Um, and uh, it's done pretty well every time, so um, I would definitely recommend building this deck. It's very inexpensive. Uh, you know, it's only two colors, so you only have to get um, a few mixed lands, like you can get Shiv and Reefs, and that's pretty much it. Um, those aren't too expensive. Uh, Hangerback Walker, you can omit. It doesn't doesn't really make this deck very much better. Um, and then everything else is nothing, basically. So yeah, I mean it's a budget deck and it does really well. So thanks for watching.